Hello, my name is Chris Chris62, your gaming gentleman, and today we're talking about a recent article that I found very interesting, DirectX 12. Now, specifically, DirectX 12 is the saviour coming to the Xbox One to uh, make those games achieve those graphical fidelity, achieve those high frame rates, and to make sure it's easier for developers to build their games on the Xbox One. And DirectX 12 is going to be implemented first uh, with the game Fable Legends, so we can uh, free to play game that is, and uh, we cannot wait to see what DirectX 12 is going to bring to the table the benefits of DirectX 12. So we'll just have to wait and see to when Fable Legends launches. So this article really showed about what DirectX 12 is going to improve that the resolution debate and how DirectX 12 is going to improve upon that. Well, what Brad Wardell said, one of the developers for DirectX 12, where he sort of stated that uh, DirectX 12 should, in fact, address the resolution debate. He also said that uh, resolution is the thing that what people are most upset about uh, between the consoles. As we all know, when the Xbox One launched, uh, there was so much parity and so much hate towards the Xbox One as the like Battlefield 4 was like running at 720p or like 1080p on the PlayStation and a lot of people were asking why is that or and people were like literally moving onto PlayStation 4 because of all this resolution debate it was plaguing the Xbox One since launch. Now even though we had some games like Forza 5 who were absolutely beautiful running at 1080p 60 frames since launch, we also had Rise of Rome, amazing looking game, Assassin's Creed Unity, and all these amazing games that still looking great but may not have the 1080p desired resolution. Now, also, and DirectX 12 that it should let all games run at 1080p so in theory this resolution debate should be non-existent in, in theory when DirectX 12 comes all games should be 1080p but I have my uh, I, I, I don't believe that will happen I, I really don't I think it's up to the developers to decide whether to make their games 1080p to use DirectX 12 now, uh, in the background here, I've got Battlefield Hardline, and then sure enough, that is definitely not a next generation title. That is obvious from the get-go I played that game, it was a last generation console port. It was definitely a port. Uh, it was nothing really implemented to take advantage of the PlayStation 4, PC, and Xbox One. It was basically a port from last generation consoles. Now. I, I understand, I, I, I sort of understand that, it really EA is all about that money so it doesn't really care but uh, I really think that developers should utilise the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One platforms with their games, make something different, maybe use the Xbox One Connect, maybe use the PlayStation 4's textures or something, make something a little bit different. Don't just make a port for all the games, because traditionally what people really do, what developers do, is that when they code their game for PC and then they literally just say, oh, what, oh, we have to make it for consoles as well, what? So they literally just port it on PlayStation and Xbox, and that, that really doesn't take advantage, but we, we are suckers, we fall for it every time, so we just buy it. Uh, but it really isn't implemented. A game that really was implemented for the Xbox One platform was Assassin's Creed Unity. With using and taking advantage of the high CPU levels in the Xbox One, were able to render all those AI in game, and that was absolutely fantastic. One of the most amount of people I've seen in the game by far. Also, what Forza using the cloud service, and to all the and Titanfall as well, taking advantage of the Xbox One consoles, and uh, take uh, and I just hope that we we see more games that take advantage of the Xbox One, maybe if they take advantage of DirectX 12, and I hope that. Uh, this this resolution debate slowly decreases and we see all games running at 1080p on the Xbox One So therefore we are not so clouded by this resolution debate that we actually forget about the games You know, I hope that there was a time where we just actually talk about who has the better exclusives rather than 
this massive resolution debate that's constantly hanging over all the games. And I just hope that when DirectX 12 comes, that it's going to be like a breath, a breath of fresh life to the Xbox One platform when developers start to, to use it. And I pledge all developers, why wouldn't you use it? That's the question. I know that why be lazy and not use it? A great developer, in my opinion, will use and utilize all the features from each platform. Now, that was sort of my rant video, but it was just an article that I really thought needed to be said. So that was that. I just wanted to keep it short. But uh, yeah, DirectX 12 is coming and hopefully with a bang. And uh, I, it's thank you. It's so good that DirectX 12 is finally coming to the Xbox One and to, to allow all games to run at 1080p. The resolution debate is dying and we all know it. Right, thanks so much for watching. It's Chris because 62 signing out and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you on the next video.